Watch as the moonlight creeps into the room you're in the head. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about YouTube. So some of you might be very influenced by YouTubers. You watch the content of Bhuvan Bam, amazing storyteller, little bit vulgar sometime, but amazing storyteller of India. You watch the content of Casey Neistat, amazing storyteller, a lot of efforts being put up in cinematography and all other things and you see and you catch up your mind that hey, I'm gonna start on my own YouTube channel. I will become the next face of YouTube. But before you get started and become the next YouTuber, there are always certain questions in mind. How much money can I make from YouTube? What are the amount of efforts that I have to put up in YouTube? What camera should I buy up? What mic should I buy up? and a ton of more things. Now this video is going to help you to understand what is YouTube, how you can get started in that and whether you should be getting started or not. So this is a well-planned video that you are going to enjoy for sure if there is a little bit hint in your mind that I should even start my YouTube channel. So let's talk about it. I want to feel the way you do Remember the summer we chase the morning light We ran for hours now before we jump on and talk a lot about YouTube, let me give you my perspective on making money. Now I consider that making money is an essential part for everybody, for you, for me, for everyone. We all have to pay bills for our internet, for our food, for our house rent or whatever that might be the scenario. Money is an essential part. Now if you offer your services and in exchange you are getting money for that, I consider this as totally okay. Now, what it depends is how much you are ethical in offering your services and how much you are not being ethical is a completely different debatable service. So we are not going to talk about that. Now, let's talk about the YouTube, the hero of this video. Now, I would only consider the creator community of YouTube here only. Now, we are not considering the how many types of watchers are there on YouTube and everything. Let's just uh, categorize the people in only the category of who makes video and upload on YouTube. Now easily it can be divided into three categories here. The big chunk of this is people who are after the money. The very small category is of influencers and then the rest of the others, people who just upload some videos, uh, get a few subscribers, get a few views and then just leave it and all other categories who upload it on a random basis just for sharing a video or sending some files, video files to other person and all these categories. So let's just keep this other category aside. We are not worried much about it. The only category that we are worried about is making money and influencers. Now I will not be beating around with the bushes. I would directly like to introduce first of all this category as with money makers. Now in this category I would like to categorize all those people who want to make money directly with YouTube. And when I say directly with YouTube there is just one way that is having advertisement on your videos. It is all controlled by YouTube so you have nothing to do in that. Now I am not putting up here like Patreons and people who are donating for your work and all these things because they are different categories and they are for me considerably they comes up into the influencers. So let's talk a little bit in detail about all the people who are just after the money on YouTube. Now also onto a given fact I don't consider this offensive. If you are on a YouTube platform to make money, that's okay. That's completely fine. Everybody has to make money somehow. Now for making just money on YouTube, just with the advertisers platform, you don't need to buy expensive mic. You don't need to buy expensive camera. You don't have to work on your skills, the camera editing, color correction, nothing, nothing at all. You can directly getting started by making money on YouTube. So you might be asking, hey, how is that possible? Now in order to just make money since you are heavily dependent and only dependent on the YouTube video ads, you have to push up videos on YouTube. Regardless of whatever the video content is, how much the popular is it or not, you just have to push the content. Whether that content can be created just for a mobile phone, from a laptop or any other a camera or anything like that. Your goal is just to push the videos. The only thing that you have to take care of is that videos should be trendy. Trendy likes uh, top 5 haunted place in the world, top 5 expensive hotels in the world. These videos do really well. Now it is not guaranteed that you will build a really loyal audience or subscriber for you but you are not after the subscriber. Subscriber has nothing to do with the views. Views have a direct relation of making money. 
a person who is having like a million subscriber and have like just 100,000 views per month uh, will make far more or less money with the second person who is having like 10 million views per month and having like zero subscribers. So that is what you are after. Views, views and that's it. Views. Now in order to make such videos like trending on uh, like movie hints and top five marvel heroes top five uh, dc heroes you just need a video editing software there are a plethora of them on the internet all you have to do is pick up some random images throw a voiceover and that's it you are done easiest way to get started with the money now don't expect that people will know you and you will make an impact no you are after the money so go directly for that don't just beat around the bushes go for your target go for money now if you want to go after the money there is also another way which i call as read repeat uh, this is really the easiest way again a little bit tough than just making uh, taking an audio uh, software and just uh, putting some an audio and clips on that and throwing on the internet uh, there is another way which i call read repeat now what you have to do you have to read a little bit not much uh, because all you'll be doing is mugging and throwing up you are reading some content from a blog and just present it on to your audience. Yes, of course, I don't like that much of the content, but you are not about liking what I like or not. You're just after putting a videos, getting a view, getting a watch time, that's it. So go ahead, uh, read what is in the trend. Uh, recently, a lot of geo thing was in the trend in India. So everybody was making a videos on geo. Now, it doesn't really care what you are serving to your audience or not, since you are having these trendy keywords like geo or what is happening currently right now in your keyword title and your keywords your video will be searched and will get views on that a lot of people also does is a news format which is which has proven a great on youtube always being searchy trendy and generates a really good amount of money get yourself some news news about prime minister or something happening technical whatever that is because you'll be able to put a lot of good keywords in your video legally and in your title as well. So news format is again the most favorite for all the YouTubers who are after money. Searchy, trendy, makes you money. Now let's move ahead on to the next category which is influencers. Now we'll, I will come back on to this money topic again because there are a couple of few things that I really want to talk about in this. But first let's move on to influencers. Now influencers are solely responsible that you have thought that I should have a YouTube channel and get started on that. They are really influential. They know how to deliver the topic and are doing amazing job here. Now you might be wondering, does influencers do not make money with YouTube? Yes, they do make money with YouTube uh, video ads and all these things, but they are not solely dependent on that kind of income. Now these kinds of influencers are really skilled and I will not call them as an extraordinary pro, but yes, I would not even call them as a beginner. Whether that's a storytelling, singing, acting, direction, or entire series makeup, or maybe programming, or maybe anything technical, they are serious here. And they make a lot of impact by just showing off what they actually know. Now, it usually looks like that their all money, their lavish life, is coming up from the YouTube money. Yes, it might be possible that a, a kind of a big chunk might be coming from YouTube, but to be honest, that's not the whole story. Most of their income doesn't come up from YouTube. Since they are influencers, they are very skilled. Uh, they are doing a lot of other jobs than YouTube, whether, whether that's a programming job, uh, maybe singing, dancing, acting, direction, whatever that might be. And since because they are doing such other jobs, they are making really good amount of money, they are not directly dependent on YouTube ad revenue. And thus, uh, they really don't care about that. They have all these expensive equipments and they can invest a lot of money in making their YouTube videos extraordinarily awesome. And thus, a lot of people just worry about, hey, I can make that amount of money from YouTube and I'm gonna be the rec next rock star of YouTube. So yes, the ultimate question is, if these people are making already good amount of money, why they are coming on YouTube? Now, YouTube is like a social media, just like you have a Facebook account, a Twitter account, YouTube is also a social media. The reason why these people come onto the platform like YouTube is just to improve, learn, and sometimes just for fun. Now, you might have seen that uh, the people who were not good with cameras and good with something like storytelling eventually improves as the time goes. And this is the number one reason for being YouTube. I personally have found out that YouTube is like the creative mining for me. I can dig up whole day on the YouTube and can improve myself. 
your speaking abilities improve, your confidence level improves, your impact on the society gets pretty bigger and it helps you to get even more clients for whatever the work you are doing. So yes, sometimes you become even much more what you are already by becoming a YouTuber. YouTube is all about improving. On the Facebook or Twitter, I can just post a text and that's it. Becoming a YouTuber is far more than that. We have to constantly evolve. There is so much to learn about cameras, color correction, how to upload engaging content, storytelling. There are tons of things and there is no end of this. And that is why most of the people join YouTube. It's so much fun. The audience is really connective to you. You feel like you are talking directly to somebody. It's really a great thing. But yes, sometimes it becomes really a hectic thing because you have to manage your clients, your work, and then on top of that, YouTube comments and everything. Uh, but yes, it's the ultimate fun and you just push yourself beyond the limits. And that's why a lot of influencers are on YouTube. Now, since we don't have much talk about others, these are the people who are just getting started on YouTube. Some of them will grow quite a lot and some of them will just quit. So these are the categories which are also good in number, great amount of people, but really we don't have nothing to discuss about them. The two main categories are just the money makers and the influencers. Now let's just answer a couple of questions that everybody has in its mind. How much money you can make on YouTube? Now let me clear that subscriber doesn't matter at all for how much you're gonna make. It all depends on your type of audience. Yes, it is not directly related to views. Yes, views really do put an impact of how much you will be making, but it depends on how much the quality of your audience. If your audience is like buying audience, they buy by seeing the ads and all these things, that means you're gonna make far more money uh, in, in your views. Now, yes, it is also possible that a person who is having just like 30,000 views of really the buying audience will make a huge amount of money as compared to the person who is having like 100,000 views per month whose audience is not buying at all. They are just watching the content and they never buy on the ads being served on the ramp. So make sure you choose your audience wisely here. If your content is top notch and quality content, that means a quality audience will be watching your content. And they are the community of the people who just likes to buy and invest in all these things. So chances are high that you can earn a lot more with the buying audience, uh, even with the small amount of views as compared to the other person who is having huge number of views. Now, according to the YouTube policy, I cannot just disclose my exact amount, how much I am making, but just to give you a rough idea, it's not personally my everything. It's a, a idea being discussed by a lot of other YouTubers as well, who happen to be my friend, is simply because, uh, simply just a rough idea. Once you cross like 50,000 subscribers, it's a decent amount of income because you have like constant views coming up and you'll be making around three uh, US digit dollar income with like above 50,000. Once you have crossed like 100,000 subscriber, then eventually your income may rise up uh, a little bit more than four US digit dollars. That's a brief idea that I can give to you right now. Apart from this, disclosing the exact figure is not in YouTube policies and I don't want to get any trouble. There is one very essential thing that you need to understand about YouTube. YouTube is a business and just like everybody else, this business also needs to make profit in order to survive. And YouTube will do every possible thing to make sure that it becomes a profitable business. Now, it doesn't really care whether you have five subscribers, 5,000 or 5 million subscriber. If you're making a mess around, YouTube is gonna kick you and they will show no mercy. Your account may get closed. Now say whatever you want to say to YouTube, but it's ultimately their business. So make sure you also understand that, that putting all of your egg in just one basket, that is YouTube, is never ever a good idea. Another important question, is it worth spending time all on YouTube? I would say it depends. Now, if you're at initial level, I would not consider that you should be going out and start a YouTube channel just like that. Now, yes, this is not about stopping you from YouTube. Obviously, you will be your own judge. Uh, I'm nobody to ask you to stop right there and don't go for YouTube. If you want to go, just go ahead. But hear me out on this. Now, I consider that if you're at a very initial level, starting a YouTube channel will give you extra burden on your shoulder. You don't want that right now. If you're a beginner, your stage is for learning stage. Now, whatever your domain is, it might be singing, dancing, acting, story writing, storytelling, whatever that is, make sure you enhance your goals, whether that's a programming even. So you enhance whatever you know already. At a beginner stage, 
invest all of your time, money and energy in enhancing these things. At a, at a very early stage, if you're going to get started with YouTube, you will get extra burden. YouTube is a platform for sharing knowledge and at a beginner stage, you don't have much knowledge to share around. If you want to become a pro in anything, don't just fool around. Get yourself proper training, proper coaching, whatever you want to become. It doesn't really mean only take programming coachings and programming courses. Singing, dancing, acting, whatever that is, stop fooling around. Get yourself proper training and get yourself really pro in whatever you really want to do. If you are getting a proper training for whatever you like to do and on the side note, you are just putting up a channel on which you just show off your work, whatever you are doing, that's okay, that's fine. But don't take it as a responsibility that we have to show up on YouTube every single day. Don't do that. This is also a common question that I get. How much does it impact about having good title, good description and keywords and all these things? Now, what I personally would say here is the content is the king and there is no match for it. You put up a really bad title or maybe no keywords at all, just a couple of line of description. It doesn't really matter that much. All you need to have is the content. If you're storytelling, the way how you express the thing or you are just able to convince what you want to say, perfectly to the audience, that's it. That's how it matters. And one thing that I don't like is mugging up and throwing. Don't just read on a blog and throw it onto the camera. This is not something. Add your own flavor to that. Add your own style. Add your own thoughts. That's what make a content really amazing and influencive. On a final note to all beginners, I would like to say that don't fool around with making a YouTube channel if you are a total beginner. Get yourself proper training whether that's an acting, singing, directing, programming, whatever that is. Stop fooling around, get yourself properly trained and be serious in life. You can make a lot more money as compared to what you are thinking is there on YouTube. Yes, definitely on this platform there is money, but that amount of money you can easily earn within two or three days if you'll properly get skilled in whatever you want to do. I usually don't take stand on a direct question like this, but this time I have to. I have seen and I have received an email from like two or three person who are dropping out from their school and college just to become a YouTuber. I would like to say YouTube is not worth it. Yes, exactly those words. YouTube is not at all worth it that you should be dropping up your education and starting a YouTube channel totally. Yes, in the past, you have seen that some of the YouTubers are totally successful in doing that. But trust me, you can make a lot more money and a lot of happy and good life if you'll get your education properly and complete that. Even if you want to drop out, take that decision really seriously. If you want to drop out for acting, go for that. YouTube is not a platform for acting, singing. It's a platform where you learn something and then come back and show off your skills. My views on dropping out for YouTube is certainly not at all good. I would not recommend that. I know you're struggling hard. You're struggling in making money. You're struggling in making an impact. And if you're watching this video just sitting in your comfortable bed, that is not going to help you. If you really want to make an impact, you want to really get rid of all those money issues, you have to work harder in getting the skills first. You can stay in your bed, enjoy a lovely, nice, awesome night, or you can just do a little bit for making your life better. Get out of your bed right now and start working for it.